In this lesson, we're going to look at multiplying multiple integers together. Uh, now, aside from making sure our arithmetic is correct when we perform the multiplication, the big challenge here is making sure that we have the correct sign on our answer at the end. So I'm going to take a lot of care going through each of these examples to make sure we have the correct sign at the end. And then we'll talk about if there's any shortcuts uh, that, that we can use to quickly understand which sign the product should have. So uh, we'll start with uh, the first example of negative 3 times negative 2 times 4 times negative 5. Now I know I've got a negative times a negative here, and that's going to give me a positive 6. And we'll rewrite all the other numbers that we haven't multiplied yet. A uh, positive 6 times a positive 4 is a positive 24. And then we're going to multiply that by negative 5. I might want to do a little long multiplication over here. And I'll get 120. But of course, a positive times a negative is a negative 120. And going down to this example, we'll do this one before we try to come to any general conclusions. This one's going to involve some larger numbers, I'm afraid. So I have negative 6 times 2 is, of course, negative 12. Rewrite everything else. And uh, next, let's take negative 12 times 3. I'm just working from left to right. I could rearrange things if I wanted to, but I'm just going to kind of keep things simple in this example. So 12 times 3 is 36, so a negative times a positive gives me a negative 36. And then I've got to multiply 36 and 6 together. Go ahead and do that. And that's going to give me 216, and it's a negative times a negative, so that will be a positive 216. And then I've got to multiply 216 and 8 together. And that's leaving me with 1,728, but it's a negative 1,728 because it's a positive times a negative. And then finally, a negative times a negative is positive, so I get 1,728 as my answer. So let's take a look at our results compared to the how the uh, compared to the original problem. Um, in this one, notice there are three negatives, and the answer was negative. And here we originally had four negatives. and the answer was positive. And at this point, maybe you have a conjecture as to what the rule is. So we can simplify things here. Um, instead of having to kind of just be really careful as we go along, we can actually tell what the sign of the answer should be uh, before performing any of the multiplication. Right? And so the pattern that these two examples follow is true in general, that if you have an odd number of negatives, the answer will be negative. If you have an even number of negatives, the answer will be positive. So we can say it this way. When multiplying multiple integers, the answer will be dot 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 negative if there are an odd number of negatives involved
call that number one, and two, positive if there are an even number of negatives involved. Oops, ran out of space there. And so just to kind of understand why this is, every time you have a pair of negatives that you multiply together, they you can think of them as zapping each other out. So uh, in this example here, this negative and this negative zap each other out to make a positive. This negative and this negative zap each other out to make a positive. And so if you think of it in that sense, those two pairs have zapped each other out, and so now there's no negatives left. Whereas in the first one, maybe think of those two negative as, negatives as zapping each other out and becoming positive, but then there's still this lone negative left over, and that's why the answer ends up being negative.